All right, it's time for my next project video. Um, this is my boat trailer that goes to my 14-foot uh, John boat. Um, I don't think I've ever done a trailer video before. I have done some boat videos and stuff before. Um, so this is just kind of a continuation of that hobby or part of my life. Um, I really wanted to actually just sell this boat in the spring when the water opens, but with a new baby and stuff coming, some other obligations, the wife talked me into keeping it. Part of keeping it is maintenance. Um, I have neglected this trailer since I bought this boat, um, I don't know, two and a half or three years ago now. I, I've done some simple stuff like, you know, the, the bow roller has been replaced. Uh, I replaced the, uh, the jack and the winch, you know, just some little stuff, but I haven't touched the bearings, they need to be done. Um, the bunk boards need to be done. The keel rollers all need to be done. So it being winter and we're under hard water or frozen water right now, um, it's a good time to go ahead and do this before spring opens up and I actually want to go out and use the thing. So I'm going to take this further than probably most other people do. When people do boat trailers, they, they kind of scuff the paint up, give it a coat of paint, pack the bearings. Um, I haven't seen much more extensive work than that. I'm gonna rip this trailer down every nut and bolt's coming out of it. Um, one way or another, if it breaks, okay. If it comes out, even better, because I don't have to go get a replacement bolt. Um, I plan on doing coatings on all the bolts to prevent them all from rusting. I don't know how old this trailer is. It, it, the, the boat it's sitting on is like an 86, so I would imagine this trailer is a similar, similar era and it hasn't really been maintained since. So this really needs it. And, you know, maybe this will add another 30 years to this trailer. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, follow along and uh, hope this uh, actually helps you out. So just do a quick walk around of this trailer. Um, it fits my 14 foot uh, aluminum John boat. Um, you know, things I've already done to it. I replaced the coupler to fit my truck and match my other trailers. I replaced the wheel jack. So it actually has a wheel jack instead of just a foot. Um, put a new winch on it. The old one was broke and didn't latch, so I had to do that. Um, bow roller I replaced, and then I put new tail lights on it because I had old incandescent ones when I bought this trailer. Um, so I put LEDs and I actually left the wire in the spool and ran it up through the neck and stuff. Um, you know, to, just to make it roadworthy. But I knew or suspected this was going to come, so I just left the whole spool and just pulled it up. The rear keel rollers need replaced. They're pretty ground in. The bunk boards need replaced. They're, they're soft. Um, the bearings need packed. I haven't even opened them, so I'm really excited to see what's inside of those. Um, and then I added these um, the, these guide poles. Um, this is the cat. It's not a homemade thing. It's not a big issue, but the the water I normally launch and land in is a little turbulent, depending on the direction of the wind. So these are kind of necessary for where I'm at. Now I did have to cheat. I think this frame's only inch or inch and a quarter wide, and the clamps for this thing, um, you know, they can only go so small. They're really meant for, you know, two or three inch trailers. Uh, so I had to kind of notch some two by four to make it work, and actually it works great. It, it acts, you know, it's a little softer than the steel, acts kind of like a shock absorber. So I actually worked to hit it, you know, got a little play and we got a little movement, and it's kind of nice. So, yeah. Follow along, um, I'm going to start getting to work.
Thank you.